Hello, today's tutorial is on the bent press. That's one of the most requested tutorials and it's a lift that a lot of people have difficulty with. Uh, there was a time when the bent press was a popular lift, but that was probably up until about 80 years ago and it went out of fashion because the bodybuilders and power lifters didn't want to do it because they couldn't display their strength. Uh, but actually the bent press historically is the method that enables you to lift the most weight overhead by one hand. And that's really what the bent press is for. It's to be able to lift the load overhead and eventually build up into a heavy or maximal load with one arm. First, I'm going to demonstrate. Now, one of the reasons that the bent press gives people difficulty is because there's not really one way to do it. Uh, it's going to be greatly influenced by your body levers. So, in other words, if you have longer legs or longer arms, shorter legs, or some different combination, that's going to influence the way you position your body. The position for me may not be exactly the position for you. And the idea here is you want to get the movement and then you want to progress and be able to do it with heavier and heavier movements. Uh, we have to start with the stance. So the stance is you're going to have your back leg under the load and it's not a press in a traditional sense. A press traditionally is you're moving a load away from your center of mass. What you're doing with the bent press is you're stabilizing the load and then extending by moving the body away from the mass. So you're not moving the mass away from the body, you're moving a body away from the mass. This was also called the screw press. And so you have, and I'm gonna just go a little heavier with each, with each rep, okay? working into a heavy single at the end. And so I have to have my stance and the key is really balance. If you want to get strong, you have to be balanced because if you're not balanced, you can't control your body. You can't execute. What you're going to play with is the degree of bend in the rear leg and in the front leg. So here I have the support leg is, is straight. You see my knee is extended and then I have kind of a soft bend here. And it has to be wide enough that you're balanced, but not so wide that you're going to be off balance at the end. Okay, so maybe shoulder wide or a little bit wider. Here, now you're going to brace. So I have left foot forward. I have my left forearm on my left knee to brace. From here, I make a shelf. So I want that forearm vertical. Imagine like you're putting your elbow into your back pocket. So the lat here is fired okay it's firing so i set i open form vertical really move the kettlebell back fire the lat on this side now i'm kind of bending forward and keeping my balance to push myself away keep pushing away until that arm is locked out and then stand it up And we keep moving this a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier. So now 24 kilo, okay? And I can change a little bit. Maybe here I'm gonna see how it feels to have this support leg a little bit bent and the front leg more straight. So I'm gonna bend it here, make a shelf, form vertical, corkscrew and push myself away, stand it up. And I'm really glad that a few of you asked and requested this movement 
because I had forgotten how great of an exercise it is. And so now I'm gonna start practicing it again because you're gonna really feel the bent press in the lat. It's the, the stability of the lat. Set the stance, brace your upper body, pack that lat on the top side, forearm vertical. Now, lean forward and away, move away, move away, move away, move away, and get under it. And then lock it out. And as you start going heavier, obviously, you will take a little bit of recovery between sets because it's going to be more of a strength training as opposed to uh, high repetition or endurance training. And then for t this tutorial, the final is I'm going to work up to a half body weight. Okay, so half body weight bent press, I think is a first initial goal. If you're working on it, build up to a half body weight. And then from there, you gradually increase. Okay, so for me today, I'm using the 36 kilogram kettlebell and my body weight is 72 kilograms. So this is exactly 50% body weight. So that's like my body weight's 158 pounds, kettlebell's 79 pounds, okay? So again, key points. This foot is slightly angled. Kick the hip over. That's going to be your center of mass. The load's going to support over that base here. You can lock this knee out. If you feel more comfortable, you can keep a soft bend in the knee. You'll have to play around and find the right angle. And now this front leg, slightly bent, kind of 45 degree angle here. Upper body braced, pack. So pull, pull that scapula retract, and then think of putting the elbow into the back pocket here. Okay, brace. Now corkscrew leaning forward. So the balance, here I'm falling, right? So brace, lean forward, and move the body away until the arm is straight. Now your joints are stable, you're locked out, and you just stand it up and complete it. So we'll do one more rep here, a little bit heavier, half body weight. Okay, so that's working up into a half body weight bent press, which is a great goal to start with. And then of course in your training, you're also gonna work your other side. I work my non-dominant, and then I should also work my dominant side. So you get a good uh, equal balance in both halves of your body. Uh, leave your comments and questions below. Any requests for additional tutorials, put in your requests, and I'm gonna to try to get to them all one by one. Thank you.